when we first saw the Finnish controller, we were buzzing. We created something totally contemporary that was somehow stuck in the past at the same time. And we loved that. Tartans had such a long history in Scotland and I think we're seeing it re-emerge as something new and exciting. When I started this business I had no idea I was going to work with Xbox. We do get asked bizarre things to do but this has been one of the most exciting. It allowed us to bring it to a younger audience that may have just seen the kilt as something that their dad would wear to a wedding and open it up to a young audience and even a more global audience. Gordon told me he was designing the tartan for Xbox and it would need to go on the controller um, and that would be our challenge coming up. I was very excited and very honoured to be asked in the first place. It looked as a challenge to get a tartan uh, which is going to be quite unique onto a controller. This tartan was by far one of the most exciting but one of the most challenging that we have designed. It was so intricate. First of all we have to get the dies right linked in with Xbox. So the die process takes two weeks. The looms are set up by hand. We chose Lochcarran to weave the tartan, the oldest weaving mill in Scotland. It's just the top that we are covering in the tartan. It was quite a challenge to get on the controller. Tartan is quite thick and the controller is quite fine. And then we're popping the sides back on and then in the end it looks like this and it's all nice together and it looks great with the fabric. I'm extremely happy, it just looks amazing. It was nice to use tartan in a different way, bringing the traditional aspect of tartan to something that's much more modern.